going to do it now before it goes to something else. Right. Is it? it might be in here, the clock. Doing a tour of Udersul town as well. That is past. Let's go and find the clock. Oh, it's there. You can see it now. So that is the co-op clock tower that used to chime every 15 minutes and strike the hours as well, but there's only four bells in there. I'm back in Huddersfield in West Yorkshire. That's where I am. I'm in Huddersfield, town centre. Doing the tour of Huddersfield now. See what the changes are like. Where is it? It's um I don't know if you can see it from up here. You might be able to see it from up here. Oh yeah, if you stand quite high up in into the bell tower you can see the clock tower. No, no, it's not Lindley Clock Tower, it's the one on the co-op. I think the bells are just in there, in that tower. I hope it's going to chime again, because it was nice when I used to hear it before the Covid lockdown. But it's going to be a university day. So when that goes, then... It'd be different, so I'm better doing it now, and then I've got the old clock of the co-op in Huddersfield. Probably go around and do it again and from the other side. Yep. It's not far from the Huddersfield Town Hall, it's that clock. <coughs> Just be careful on the steps. Yep. Oh wait, this will go on YouTube. It's called the Co-op 
clock tower over there is that. You can still see it from up here. It was going absolutely fine last week, it's losing a bit of time, it's just after 2 o'clock, it's a little bit fast. It's, it's 5 past 2 at the moment and that says nearly quarter past on that. So, See if we can go down that side, get it from the other side. I might be able to go in, in here actually. And if you look up there, you've got Nielsen plot tower up there, it's broken and smashed in bits. It's in the right state, there used to be one bell in there, it used to strike the hours only. It got burnt down in a fire, didn't it? Yes. I wonder if I can get up here to get to it. I might, I might just be able to manage, but... Right, I can see the bell tower now from here. If you look very close, you can see those bells. Which do the hourly chime and the quarter chime. Hello. Um. Yeah. Well. Um. The. Um. I don't know whether it's working properly or not. What? That clock tower it used to chime every clock an hour. I just want to hear it again. I'm going to be honest. I've never once heard it chime. If you look up there, you can see the bells are behind those windows, like the Indy clock tower. Yeah. I'm doing this because I know they might be changing it around, so I'm just doing a tour of it before. Before it gets changed. Yeah. Just let you know, be careful standing here because some cars might be flying. Yeah, well, there's only that clock there. I'm trying to get a good shot of it from the other side front so I can get the full face. Don't worry, I'm not videoing your car. No. Oh, oh, you can't, can you? I need to go up yeah, to the top. Uh, oh. I don't know if it's, it normally chimes on the quarters and then it's. Have you tried going on the roof car park? How do you get up there? Uh, stairs over here. I'm going to get the bell tower. If you go up them stairs there, you'll be able to get on this uh, rooftop car park. I can see netting on there. Well, can you walk along there? Yeah, it should be. Uh, um, them stairs, just there. Go up there, you should be able to see it. All oh, right, I need to go on the other side, see if there's four faces, but I think there's only three. Uh, it could be private, I don't... Uh, I'm sorry if I'm getting you on my video. No, 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 no I don't want to get you on without your permission, no, no, because this is... Because okay. what we're doing is, I'm doing a tour of Huddersfield as well, to send to YouTube and yeah. then you can see how things have changed about Huddersfield's yeah, past. Yeah. Ah, right, yeah, that would be Yeah, to get up here to these stairs here, you'll be able to see it, right? Alright. I've been up that one. Yeah. So, I've done the church, just need to get that clock before they take it away because it, it could be getting st stuck into something else. So, where is it? Oh wow, got room for it here. Top of the car park. Hey, I found an, another place for the clock. Well, it hasn't struck quarter past, has it? So obviously it's not going to chime. I 
don't know if it's a ball face called Talon. I don't know. I think it might have only three clock faces. Let's keep this clock going, shall we? It needs repairing and then it needs its bells to chime every quarter of an hour and it's striking the hour as well as the chiming the Westminster chimes because I miss it now I should have done this in before Covid had started but I forgot I'm at the top of Albion Street, that's where I am in Huddersfield Town. Right, I wonder what's down here. I'm doing a lot of history about the clock on the um, Albion Street. Right, polite notice is there. Can you see it from here? I don't know, let me have a look. Um, no. I don't think I can go up to the top, very top one. I don't think I can. Opposite Primark is that cool So it's loud motorbike is that. Years and years ago, this used to be in my town where I was born, Huddersfield Town Centre. See, what's changed? Sort of buildings have been demolished and gone. Right, where do you want to go now? Down here, past the town hall, near where you will go just to be. Down there is St Paul's Church in Huddersfield, but it's the University of St Paul's Church is that. No bells. Thank you. 
And that used to be the old library, not just sold years and years ago, but it's all closed down. Is that? used to be the plaza indoor market as well but that's going to be demolished soon so so that's going to be going shortly you can tell what's different don't be doing people no, I won't. I'm gonna go around the other side and get the clock tower around the other side and then see what, what's changed about Huddersfield and its past and what's still here. So people can have a look at it on my YouTube channel. This is the bus that goes towards Slapwick, Linfway, Marsden, towards that church I go to on a Wednesday in Oldham. It's busy at the moment. And this used to be Queen's Gate. I used to get my diamond jumper some years ago and it's now going to be pulled down eventually. Look, see? It's a real shame, isn't it? Mm. And that tells me which bus goes to Home Fair for Mule Mill.